Okay, this is video number eight on how to reassemble and this is and uh, assemble your Honda small engine. This is this is a GXV 160 model. Okay, in the last video we installed the cylinder head and we got the push rods put in. We also got the rocker arms on and we put the nuts on to the rocker arms, okay? We just put them on there by hand a little bit. I got these jam nuts here just loosely sitting on here. Okay, when you look in your manual, and it'll tell you on 3 5 uh, how to adjust your uh, valves. And it actually started here on 3 4, I think. Yeah. So it says that it wants you to remove the, cylinder, the rocker cap, which we've done all that. Uh, we need to make sure, and of course the engine's cold, of course it is, it has not been running. And then it says set the piston at top dead center on the compression stroke, both valves fully closed. All right, so the way I can find that out is I'm going to put my finger over top I'm going to put my thumb over top the spark plug hole and I want to turn this engine. When I feel compression, did you hear that? Listen. That's how I know I'm on the compression stroke. Does that make sense? Okay, now that I know I'm on the compression stroke, I'm going to take my extension here. You can also use a flathead screwdriver, something small, and just lightly and carefully put that down in there. I'm going to slowly turn, and if you watch, my extension is coming up. All right, you're going to get to a spot where the piston is just going to kind of sit there and float for a second before it goes back down. Your keyway should be pretty much facing straight up, okay? This is how you know you're on the compression stroke at the top dead center of this engine. Like I said, you can take your screwdriver, put it down in there real lightly like. Uh, make sure you don't drop anything down in there. Um, now that we know that we're on the compression stroke and we're at top dead center, we got to adjust our valves. So insert a feeler gauge. A feeler gauge is this tool right here. It's got dip, all these little flanges are different thicknesses. This is 8 thousandths, 0 0.008. That's 0 0.007. 0 0.006, 0 0.005, 0 0.004. And those are called thousandths. Okay, that's thousandths of an inch. Now, standard valve clearance. IN is the intake valve. So the intake valve <clears throat> is 6 thousandths plus or minus 2 thousandths. So if that thing is anywhere between eight and four thousandths. The exhaust valve needs to be between eight thousandths uh, plus or minus two thousandths. So that can be as much as ten thousandths of, uh, uh, or it can be as little as six thousandths. Okay? So we will start with the intake one first, which if I'm facing this engine like this, it's this one right here. Okay? So, I, I want to get out my six thousandths one, and it slides in there. Okay, now it should slide in there, but it needs to be just a little, a little bit of uh, drag on it. Okay, not a lot, but just a little bit of drag. The good thing is, is that at least on this engine, if your valves are too, if you get it too loose or too tight, you can come back in here relatively easily and redo it. Adjusting valves is something that people had to do a lot back in uh, and with the older cars. Uh, it's not very much practice these days in cars. Not that you'll never see it, but... Okay. So now I've got it set at six thousandths. I'm going to take my 14 millimeter wrench and I'm going to hold this nut right here. I'm going to take my 10 millimeter wrench and I want to tighten this lock nut. OK, 
Okay. Now I'm going to recheck. Take my six thousandths. Okay, it won't fit in there. So now I want to go down here to six thousandths. I'll, I'll try my five thousandths. Nope, barely. Four thousandths. All right, four thousandths fits in there. That's so I'm going to say that's good. Okay. If I couldn't get my four thousandths, let's say my two thousandths fit, I'd have to loosen this up, loosen this nut up, and try it again. Okay. Now let's do the exhaust one. Exhaust one's eight thousandths plus or minus two thousandths. So exhaust one is this one right here, one closest to me. I'm putting it between the top of the valve and the bottom of the rocker. Okay. Again, take my 14 millimeter wrench. I'm going to hold that nut. I'm going to take this jam nut. I'm going to tighten it up. This may take you a couple times of doing this. I just, I'm just going. I'm not going to. I'm not going to tighten it real tight. Just kind of snuggy. All right. Eight thousand fits in there. Uh, Seven thousand fits in there a lot better. So I'm within spec because I'm I'm within two of eight thousands. All right. The next thing you want to do is we need to tighten this. Now that we got our valves adjusted, we need to tighten the locking nut and according to this it's 5.8 foot pounds which is 69.6 .6 inch pounds so I'm going to take my inch pound torque wrench so there's 65, 66, 67, 68, 69 I'm just going to do 69 foot pound or inch pounds I mean so I need my 10 millimeter socket and I'm going to tighten this down to 69 inch pounds. Okay. Oh, Got to make sure that you should hold this right here. Okay. After I get them all torqued down to spec, I'm going to go through and check them one more time. Okay? Go through and check them and make sure you got it right. Six thousandths. Okay, six thousandths feels pretty good there. Actually, eight thousandths even feels, even feels even a little better. So that should be right on. Now I need to go to the other one, go to six thousandths and check. That's a little tight. My four fits in there a little better. Okay, that is how you adjust valves in this engine. Now, like I said, take your time, get it done right, and we'll stop with the video right here. Stay tuned to the next video. As you can tell, assembly goes a lot slower than disassembly because you have to torque all your nuts and bolts down and do all your clearance checks and all that stuff. Alrighty, let me know if you have any questions. Stop right there. Don't go any farther. Thanks for watching.